Hey everyone, welcome to a new game. Today we're going to be playing Ethiopia. Menelik. So, should be fun. We're on a Highlands map. Uh, we have five opponents on this map. So, it's a small map. Um, let's see. Let's get into Menelik's abilities here. So, this is BBG Men Menelik. So, he's a little different. Uh, but kind of the same general idea. Uh, he gets faith and uh, he gets science and culture equal to ten percent of his faith uh, in cities founded on hills. So we want to be settling our cities on hills. That'll be important. Uh, his international trade routes gain half of faith per resource at the origin city. So we want lots of resources in our cities. Improved resources provide plus one faith. We can buy archaeological museums and archaeologists with faith. Pretty nice. Uh, the Oromo Cavalry is a Corsair replacement medieval unit. Uh, it gets plus one movement when starting on hills and plus four combat when fighting on hills. And it has a site of three. Then we have the Rock Hewn Church improvement, uh, unlock the drama and poetry. It gives extra appeal to adjacent tiles, gives plus one faith per adjacent mountain and hill tile. And then once you get to flight, it gives you tourism. It can only be built on hills or volcanic soil. It can't be adjacent to another rocky church. And it can't be completely destroyed by a disaster. So it looks like a pretty good improvement. And then in terms of mods, uh, besides BBG, I'm playing with the late game AI mod and the real strategy mod those mods kind of go together they make the ai harder um there's two extra difficulty levels with the late game ai mod so uh level uh, pro difficulty and insane difficulty we're on pro right now and then besides that all the existing difficulty levels uh, are also harder than normal with this with this mod um, I also have some UI mods, but I probably won't uh, probably won't uh, discuss those in detail. And then if you're watching the edited version of this, I have a stream channel. Um, so I'll put the link in the description. Come and uh, come and watch my streams if you if you enjoy those. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's get into the game here. So, we have a continent split. That's always nice. We get extra error score for that um, right off the bat because we're like the first to see that second continent, apparently. And what else? Set the minimum distance to 15. Pretty nice spawn. We've got some cocoa. Um, we have pretty, pretty decent tiles. We've got some 2-2 tiles. Looks pretty good. In terms of resources, not a lot of resources, but that's okay. I think it's I think it's a pretty good spawn. All right. So now, in terms of victory, what is our goal for this game? It's either culture victory or domination victory. I'm not sure yet. So we'll just see how this how this goes. But let's just settle in place. We're on a hill, so that's always good. Um, let's get a couple scouts. We're on a Highlands map. That's important. We actually have a plus three holy site right here with these two woods and two mountains. So I think we'll end up doing a, a holy site right there. And let's start by researching astrology since we want to get holy sites. Okay, we finished our first scout. We'll send it out this direction. Kind of want to see what the second continent looks like because if we settle that, we get an extra two era score for the first settle. Oh, there's Lake Retba. Okay. Cool. So we get the boost for astrology. Awesome. Awesome. That is a fresh water settle as well. It's pretty good. We'll probably want to settle that. And let's send our second scout sort of up here. So two scouts into a settler, kind of a standard build there. We did get a first meet on Retba there. So that's good. So we can, we can settle that. This is going to be two era score for the continent and three for the wonder. That's five era score. For settling that it's gonna be pretty nice <laughs> okay we know we want our holy site right here let's buy the tile and pre-place it before it gets more expensive 
Districts get more expensive as you progress through the tech and civics, techs and civics. We also have a really good campus here with the jungle, fisher, and mountain there. So that'll be really good. Next, let's let's reveal our horses, animal husbandry. It'd be good if we have some horses in range and we can improve uh, improve them and get a little faith. Oh, tribal village, very good. Okay, so we'll get a promotion on the scout with that. And we're gonna get faith from our holy site and from our resources. So let's go with urban planning and then let's put in survey. We're about to pick up this tribal village. And oh, rebuilder, oh my goodness, wow. Doesn't get much, much luckier than that. And obviously Alpine will be good on this, uh, this Highlands map. But we don't have anything to improve yet with this builder. Um, so I think I think we'll sort of just walk around a little bit, explore a little bit with it. Oh, another tribal village up here. Very good. On a Highlands map, it's so nice to get some tribal villages early so that you can promote your scouts. Because otherwise, they just move so slowly. Bruno, hello. Good to see you. How's it going? All right, what do we get from this? Let's see, craftsmanship boost. Okay, not bad. Actually, that that is not the best, but nothing we can do about it. Okay, I think our first settle over here looks looks really good. We can get a holy site right there, and that'll be like plus four. And our horses are right here. I think that can be what we use the builder to improve. Yeah, we'll just sort of follow the settler. And we actually have, since we have the builder, we might as well get our gypsum improved as well. Let's get the holy site built next. So normally I do two settlers uh, in a row. So like scout, scout, settler, settler. But in this case, I think we want to get three people points going. And we can, we can squeeze in another settler soon here. Bruno, oh no, your little brother is ill. Sorry to hear that. Oh. Yeah, I hope uh, hope everything works out. That's uh, we have enough gold now for another scout, and I think it'd be good to get another one since it's a Highlands map. We could probably scout down south here. Okay, we got another continent out here, so potentially a oh here's a here's our neighbor. That that could be Aztec. I'm gonna guess, but we'll see. Okay, we just finished our plus three holy site. We got a little more error score for that. Very nice. And then let's squeeze in our shrine too, so that we're generating two profit points per turn. And then that's gonna really get us our profit quickly. Okay, let's meet this sieve. Yep, sure enough, Montezuma. Oh, another natural wonder, wow, okay. Plus three, okay, so we'll have a really easy golden age here. Okay, let's settle our natural wonder and we already have the golden age just like that and then let's go ahead and buy the horse tile very good we'll have so now we've got i think we want to work that tile um it's a little better i think than this and then let's go ahead and start with well actually let's we'll need to place our holy site really soon but maybe we'll start with trader here get a trade route going um, we want it to be international because this ability, the extra faith, only applies to international trade routes. Okay, so our shrine is done. Let's squeeze in that uh, second settler now. Oh, we just met Bologna. Okay, Bologna. First meet. They want a galley. They give your districts extra great people points, basically. Okay, let's place down our... our uh, oh, we also have a plus four there, but I guess... Hmm. Let me think. What do we want? Which spot? Because this could be a good campus tile as well, whereas this wouldn't be. I think I'll buy this tile. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Finish the trader, though, and then we'll work on the holy site. We do have a few sieves generating great profit points, including Aztec. But we've got two per turn. They've only got one. Hopefully we can maintain that, that lead. And it looks like another city state here. Vilnius, also a first meet. They want a chariot. They give extra adjacency to theater squares based on how good your alliances are. Should have updated the mod. I thought I did. It said it was 
It said it was updated May 6th, the version that I'm playing with. I don't know. Maybe maybe it didn't um I didn't delete it. I just assumed it it um it auto updated if it said it was last updated May 6th. I don't know. I guess it didn't. I guess I needed to delete it and then and then re reinstall it. But, okay, let's get our gypsum going. So that's an amenity. It's not really helping us yet, but That'll be good. It'll be a good second tile maybe to work. We'll see. We probably want to work a two food tile though. Probably this one. But at least we have the amenity improved now. Okay, I think we'll take Sacred Path. That's going to give our Holy Sites even more adjacency. Um, so plus one faith to Holy Sites. Plus one, oh no, uh, let's see. Plus one faith from adjacent rainforest and woods tiles. Yeah. So that's going to be even better. This will be better as well with the rainforest. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take Sacred Path for our Pantheon. And then let's take a look at the adjacency. Plus 5 and plus 6. Yeah, that's that's nice. And another city-state, Geneva in the game. Wow, okay. Interesting. And did we get a first meet? Yes. Uh, they want an encampment and they give 15% science boost whenever not at war. Okay, we have our trade route done. Let's go ahead and send to this city. So that'll be two faith. And we want to keep this city growing. So let's work this tile. So next in the city, we'll work on the holy site. Sonda, hello. Good to see you. Okay, so looking at the map, we don't have a lot of fresh water nearby. That means we have to walk our settler pretty far. This is a seven turn walk. And it does have a good tile here, a 3-2. It's also on a hill tile, so that's important, being Ethiopia. So we'll just walk down there. It's a bit further than, than I would like, but not much we can do about that. Oh, tribal village right there in the fog. Beautiful. Muddler, hello! <laughs> How's it going? Okay, and another tribal village down here. Let's see what we get. 37 gold, not bad. And let's see what we get right here. Military tradition boosts. Not the best, but that's all right. And since we have so much error score, I'm going to sort of be inefficient in my scouting because I want to save more points for next era. And we'll just sort of come back and see what's what's in the fog right here. Let's get another builder out here. Um, well, let me think. Maybe, maybe we'll want to do a settler. Here, let's see. We don't have the card. We want to get builders and improve our resources at least. And there's like a couple resources down here. I mean, maybe I need to get irrigation. That's probably what I should go for next. Yeah. I wouldn't mind improving the cattle since it's a uh, higher food tile. We are also starting to compete for a religion. We could squeeze in a project. And that would, I think that would guarantee. Probably that we get the first profit. Maybe we don't need to though. It's not not best to do that. You know, I think I'm just gonna do a turn into a settler, um, even without the settler card. Yeah, let's do that. And then this city can build a shrine. Because once we hit monumentality, we can just buy builders. So, so that I I don't think we actually need to build another builder. But let's definitely get irrigation. Uh, let me think. We could wait like six turns or seven turns and get this improved. And then boost it. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, Nalanda. There's so many blue city states. Wow. Okay. Not a first meet. They want a merchant. And they give the Mojave Hara improvement, which gives a free tech. Or no. Let's see. No, that's... uh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You get a free tech with that with that improvement. Okay, we just met Abe Lincoln. He is out here. We boosted early empire finally. And as nice as this tile is, we want to keep the city growing. So we, we need to be working a two food tile. Okay, what are we doing for governor? I could see doing... I could almost see doing Magnus for the... For the extra movement on settlers here. But that's a little weird. We're doing monumentality. So maybe maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want... We're not going to have a lot of 
culture, unless we take Moksha. Moksha gives the culture promotion in BBG on a sewer. Um, so we could do Moksha. I think we could still take Magnus, especially we, we can work the, actually let's work these tiles here. Yeah, this can be like our culture. That, that should carry us through. I think we'll go Magnus here in the capital. And we're working on a settler, so oh actually we don't even have the settler card yet. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just push through irrigation one turn. Let's not worry about boosting it. Because I have a builder right here ready to improve. And then on this map, we have to travel so far to settle fresh water. Let's go with the surplus logistics plus one movement for settlers. Or we could actually buy a builder with gold here when we settle and then improve that. Okay, that, that seems pretty good. We don't have to wait all the way till the era switch to get that improved. And let's throw in the settler card there. Okay, settling our third city. Buy the builder. Okay, Gov Plaza. Let's see. Do we have a discounted Gov Plaza? It is. It is a discounted Gov Plaza because we built two districts and we've only unlocked two district types at this point. So that's when you have a discounted district. And there's not really, like, our holy sites are so far apart from each other. It's going to be a long time before we actually get any adjacency out of it. Our cities are far. I'm just going to put it down, like, right here, I think. I guess I could put it here to boost the campus, but I mean, there's a horse next to it, probably a resource tile we don't want to get rid of. I feel like it's not even really worth the gold. Let's see here. We could, could put it here. This would be pretty good long term. Maybe we want to do that. Maybe put it right there. That's a little bit better. Or let's see, we don't have irrigation yet, so we can't put it there. Plus there's a resource that's not really any better than putting it here. Yeah, let's just, let's just buy this, put that there. Let's finish our settler first. Oh shoot, there's a barb, an archer here. Oh no, <laughs> hopefully we don't lose that traitor. And since we have so much error score, I'm going to switch out of political philosophy for one turn on this. And then we'll time this with the new era, which will be turn 31. That way we get the era score for the next era. Okay, I think we got the first profit. We did. Abe's already got scientists going. <laughs> okay, there's our profit. And then let's get this farm going. That's going to give us irrigation. Very good. And then that allows us to improve this. Perfect. Uh, I think the barb's going to get our trader. Bummer. Man, that's rough. Okay, we just met Indonesia. They are all the way out to the right here. And we did lose our trader. That's unfortunate. Oh, we finished our settler one turn before Magnus established. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to save my religion for next turn as well. So that we're, so we get the era score in the next era. Okay, I think I'm going to walk all the way up here. It's like eight turns. Pretty rough, but... I don't think we really have any other choice. Next, let's work on our government plaza. And then we'll do a monument here. We'll just buy a trader when the era flips. Okay, there's another another era score that we didn't really need. There's um, Sal uh, Sultan Saladin. He is way up here in this corner. So there's only one more Sib that we haven't met. Okay, so classical era. We have a golden age. Okay, if we if we get into Classical Republic, we immediately become happy in two cities. So we'll just go right into it. Sometimes it's good to do autocracy first if you don't get an immediate benefit from Classical Republic. But um, we, we get an immediate benefit from it. So I think that's good to take right now. And then let's put in settler production, urban planning. And I think, hmm... I could see almost doing, I could see almost getting a unit real quick to go take care of the barbs. Maybe we'll put in a gog. We'll buy some builders. That looks good. And then we're going to take monumentality for 
our for for a golden age here. Roy, hello. Let's see what's cooking. We got uh, Ethiopia here. Yeah, having some fun. We're uh, we got a wonder, pretty much like a wonder spawn, really close. Continent split, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Okay, new era. Let's found our religion. We'll go duckism. Okay, so we have, yeah, we got first religion. We have lots of options. I think feed the world makes sense here. Um, yeah, that, that looks really good. Let's take feed the world. Um, we're going to want lots of food on this map. And we will be doing some, um, some theater squares. So I think lay ministry looks pretty good here. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that lay ministry. That looks great. And then let's go ahead and buy the trader that we couldn't finish. We got our trader pillage by barbs. Buy that. And then let's buy some more builders. Let's see. Especially like a builder here would be good. And then I need to buy. Let's see. I guess I can chop. I want to chop this tile. I guess we'll buy it now. And this will be where our holy site goes, I think, in this city. Yeah, we got a plus five right there. So in that case, let's buy another builder here right now. And then Magnus is here, so this is a good city to get a builder. Next turn, or a couple turns, we can get a builder there as well. And I'm trying to get some district discounts. So trying to avoid researching anything that unlocks a district. Oh, with Barb right there, okay. And we'll just resend this route, I think. And we could go that way. Yeah, let's get a road up that way, that's fine. Let's get a quick warrior here. We know there's barbs around. Okay, let's move here, chop into the monument, place the holy site, improve our resource. Let's chop our monument here, and then let's do a settler. We could also sneak in a unit here too. Maybe, maybe do a warrior here as well, just to guard this traitor as it walks. Maybe we can clear a barb camp. Okay, and then I think, ah, uh, let's see here. Provision is pretty good for like chopping out a bunch of settlers. I guess we could do that. We could actually just do our settlers in the capital, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Let's do that. We won't lose population when we finish settlers. Uh, and then I think on this map, we probably want to do ancestral hall, I think. We've taken three promotions into one governor, so audience chamber, I don't know, it's gonna take it would take some time before it really becomes good. So I think we'll just do um ancestral hall now. But let's buy a builder here so we can chop. Oh I did writing. Oh shoot. Okay, hang on. I need to reload that. Sorry. Cause I'm I think I'm about to have a district discount. Yeah, we need to reload that. Okay, so we'll go back. You know what? This trade route is just so good. We're, let's let's use Magnus. We'll <laughs> and actually send it here instead of sending it out. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. That's fine. Um, the city could use some growth too. And this way we can work this tile as well. And then it's going to be even better here with provision. Okay, so now instead of researching writing which will bust our district discount we're going to do the wheel until we get to drama and poetry and then we can place a theater square in the city and it should be discounted i think okay we unlocked theater squares so this should be discounted yeah 31 production that's definitely discounted um let's put it let's just put it here eventually we have a camp a campus right there it'll have a little adjacency from that we're doing a settler here real quick since we have the settler card in and the city's working on the ancestral hall so we can uh probably chop we also have our unique improvement too um we'll have to think about where to put that right now though i think we basically just want to chop ancestral hall now we can get writing i think that's fine we're, we're basically done getting district discounts i think for, for now at least because now we have to get mysticism in order to get temples and that's what we we want to get temples for sure 
Let's improve this since it's a resource. Gives a little faith. And then this as well. Oh, Yosemite. Okay, cool. And we got a promotion on the scout. Beautiful. Okay, we got our two warriors out. Let's, let's put the builder card back in. We probably won't even use it. So I guess maybe... Maybe we'll take, maybe we'll just do Caravansary, or actually no, we'll do God King for a little bit of faith, a little extra faith there. And we could also do Literary Tradition. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's put that card in. Let's see how they're doing on Writers. Nobody has Writer points yet. That's good. Oh, I'm chopping away my adjacency on this. That's the one thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, that was probably a mistake. Oh man, uh, let me think here. Let's see, what do we want to do? I mean, it is around the Gub Plaza, I guess. But I don't want to do that yet. I think, I think I'm going to reload that again. <laughs> okay, so instead of chopping this woods, we're, we'll go chop this out here. And we don't want to chop that either. So we probably want to actually get bronze working. Yeah, that way we can chop jungle. This is actually a really good um, rock hewn church. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Okay, now this tile we can chop. This tile we can also chop into Magnus' city. Oh, we put it on our, on our iron. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. What luck. I'm trying to decide if I like that or not. I guess that's okay. Our unique horse takes oh my goodness that's crazy that's fine it's it's a good spot for it i guess we get a little science on that tile <laughs> oh man but we don't generate oh, we do have some iron already that's good how are we getting iron we must have put we must have put a um yeah this is iron that's good okay as long as we have a source of iron Okay, let's get our temples. Let's go ahead and take Geneva right now. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Get some era score, get a little extra science. Why not? And Mitla in the game. Look at all these scientific city-states. Four of them. That's crazy. A Papasho. Hello, it's going well. Going well. How about you? Good to see you. Okay, there's Rome. So we met everybody in the game. And yeah, we were the first to do it. Good stuff. Gumball, do the Arabia discount strat. What uh what do you mean? How how do I do that? <laughs> Let's buy another builder right here and we can chop probably the woods right there. Holy sites. Oh, and the campuses. Okay. I did a holy site. I did a discounted theater. Um but now I've unlocked like now I'm almost to temples, so I had to get mysticism, so that kind of, uh, I'm probably not going to be discounting anything for a while then, but at least I got, I got, I discounted the Gov Plaza and the Theater Square. Have I decided on a victory? I'm either doing culture or domination. I'm not sure yet. One of, one of those two. Oh, we have another good rock hewn church here. Let's see. Uh, well, actually it's only four faith. Eh. Probably want five faith. Another good one right there. Maybe we want to do one right there, yeah. Alright, I want to get this settler out real quick. There we go. And then let's just settle right here. This city finally has arrived after its long journey. We'll need to buy a tile there, it looks like. And then that now this city, we finished our ancestral hall. Now we just, I think we'll just build settlers out of here. And the other cities won't have to be settlers. Now here we can do our discounted theater. Wolin up to the north. They give uh, extra general points when you kill another Civs units. Nalanda here gives uh, wants a merchant, and they give uh, no. We already we already read that. What was the new one we met? Mitla. Mitla gives extra growth to cities with campuses. You want a horseman? Hmm. Maybe we can do that. Yeah, with the city-state distribution, it almost seems like science victory would be good here. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe maybe it'll end up being uh, science. 
four scientific cities. Um, uh, Gumball, I took uh, Feed the World and Lay Ministry. What What would you recommend here, Gumball? What would What would you have taken? Feed is good for science victory. Yeah, true. Maybe we should. Maybe we'll just do science victory. I guess we're doing it. We did an early theater, but I guess that's okay. New governor. Let's get our culture up. Let's go with Moksha here, I think. All right, let's settle right here. And so, yeah, settled there. We get a builder for free with Ancestral Hall. Let's get our mine improved. Oh, that gives us a little boost. Very good. I think we'll still do another holy site here. Got some plus threes. But that requires not chopping here. So maybe, maybe it's better if we do that right there, I guess. That way we can chop this. Since we took sacred path. Um, let's see here. We could put in... At some point when I have a quick turnaround, I need to put in Diplomatic League. Scripture is a must. Oh, yeah. In fact, yeah, this city hasn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh, man. Because now this city's just never going to convert. <laughs> Unless I get a missionary. I guess I could. Uh, maybe I should just get a missionary. I'm going to get a theater square here still, I think, because... Uh, because I... I took lay ministry, and I think it'd be good to get a couple theaters. Hopefully, we can still get good science later. No, what 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 should I do? Campus? Okay, okay. We do have a plus three up here. Yeah, let's do the plus three right there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, and then golden age will be really easy. Okay, let's chop the rainforest into the settler. And then I want to get a temple, I think, next. Now, I think I'm going to buy a missionary. Let's let's buy a missionary here. Go convert down south. Got a barbarian camp that spawned out here. Hmm. Maybe I can send this warrior back up there. Okay, our settler is out. Where do we go? Oh, man, that's like right where we would want to settle. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Fresh water is definitely lacking. We could maybe go up here with the road that looks decently fast. Like we can go here to here with the road here. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I need to get my temple. I'm going to chop. I'm going to use my chops though for settlers and then I'll just gradually build the temple. I think. Oh, settle on a hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, we can settle one of these probably. So far, we're, we've done well. Yeah, so far we have settled on hills, thankfully. But um, Okay, let's chop the settler. And then let's work on the temple. And then this city, I think we want to do a temple here. Wouldn't mind chopping these woods, maybe. I need to get another builder as soon as I can, yeah. As soon as I can, I need to get another builder. One city's not on a hill. Oh, this is this is on a hill here. This city is too. It's not a plains hill, but it's a hill. Wow, oh, there's that. There's that archer. Okay, there's a new luxury that we don't have up here. Let's go get that. Okay, and then this. Oh, I need to finish my holy site. What am I doing? <laughs> we only did one turn though into the campus, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, finish that holy site, and then we need to get the shrine, and then we can do the campus. Uh, this guy, he's too strong. Let's see. I guess we can retreat a little bit. Okay, let's do another rock-hewn church here. Chop out the temple. Oh, there's uh, another city-state. They help you cheat. Oh, that's a good one for us. Land, combat, or support units. 10% cheaper to purchase with gold or faith for each encampment building in the city. If we do domination, then that would be good. But we'll see. Now here, I want to buy this tile because we don't have that resource yet, that luxury. And we would be up to happy in the capital. Now let's do the shrine here. This would be the time to consider Colosseum, but I think our cities are just too spaced out. Yeah, I think we're going to be settling really far and wide. So probably not. 
let's see, what do we take? Either, I think here, either theater square or campus. We do have a plus two theater here. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. We could settle off fresh. Yeah, with feed the world. Yeah. Let's do entertain. Let's or let's do um. Yeah, let me think. Yeah, I think I'll just do theater square here. Campus next. Uh, but let's finish the temple. Buy another builder. Okay, settling our fifth city. Oh, we got some spices back there. Let's get our luxury improved. Beautiful. I want to get that culture. Let's take a uh, connoisseur. Now we can do the amphitheater in this city. Plus six holy site back here. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Also here as well. I think next to the mountain. Let's, ah, uh, but then I can't buy my pile here. Let's start with the monument here real quick. All right, let's buy the luxury tile, improve that. Okay, chop the temple and into a settler. Beautiful. We have two more luxuries here and here, but let's go chop. I want to chop my tile for my holy site. Okay, now finally we can convert this city. Very good, just in time for its shrine. So it'll get the feed the world benefit. Okay, let's buy another builder right here. Okay, let's settle city number six. Good stuff. And we have another good holy site right here, plus four. Yeah, let's put that right there. There's apprenticeship boost, beautiful. Okay, maybe we go settle this, settle right on top of the cocoa. We have a really good rock hewn church right there. Put that down. Bruno, let's see, Metal Link with Void Singer is one of those OP combo I've ever played. Yes, yeah, definitely, yeah. Void Singers with the Civ is, is so good. I agree. Totally. Preslav, lots of red city seats too. That's interesting. Every time I play a faith game, there's like no faith city states. And <laughs> every time I do another game, there's a lot of them. I think Russia is better with Void Singers or easy to play because, uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. In the base game, yeah, for sure. All right, we got a good campus here. Let's go ahead and place that. If you want to play a relaxing game and just win. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Russia, Dance of the Aurora, Void Singers. Yeah, that combination is just super powerful for sure. <laughs> and work ethic, right, right. To make it even easier, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, definitely a fun way to play Russia. Okay, I think we'll kind of save our faith for feudalism builders. Okay, there's apprenticeship, so we get an extra production. I think we only have one mine, though, so just one production. Uh, let's go ahead and chop out our holy site here. We can do the shrine next. And a really good um, church here, Rock Hewn Church. It's going to be plus five. Yeah, plus five, I guess. Not as good as I thought, but that's that's still good. Put that down. Beautiful. All right, the city needs to get a greenery real quick since it's sort of stagnated in growth on housing. We can do some luxury swapping. Let's Let's swap some coffee. For, I think we have two, it said we have two jade, so we'll do that. Yeah, now we're fully happy in our cities. On to feudalism, and then we can have five charge builders. Let's take Pingala now. Put him in our third city. Okay, let's buy this tile, and we can put down our holy site in this city, finally. Plus six. Beautiful. Uh, oh, we got a, a writer. Awesome. And I think, yeah, okay, the AI is just beginning to get writer points, so that's really good. Very nice. We have a spot for it. All right, we have the settler card in. Let's chop out the theater square here and into another settler. You know what? Let's grab Vilnius. It hasn't had a Suze yet, so there's some era score. And then we can also get a little more adjacency on this theater square at least. Although, wait a second, we don't have an alliance yet, do we? Never mind, okay. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. Era score 
Uh, we we still need some some air score. There's Pantanal. Okay, we got a promotion on our warrior. Let's hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and take Tortoise maybe to try to deal with this guy, and then let's do let's get another luxury. I think we're very close to being ecstatic. Yeah, gives a little gold too. We're really we're really short on gold to buy tiles and chop basically. Yeah, we're ecstatic here. That's great. And yeah, we should be able to circumnavigate any turn here. We could go convert um, Montezuma's cities. Does he have his own? He has his own religion, I think. He must. Does he? No, he doesn't. Weird. He built an early holy site, but he doesn't have a religion. He must have gotten... He did get a prophet, I think. Did he? Wait a second. He didn't. He didn't even get a profit. Wow. He didn't. Oh, because he's in the game. Sultan Saladin. I think he gets the last profit. <laughs> That's funny. Because he had profit. He he had a holy site almost the same time as us. That is That's pretty rough for him. <laughs> okay, so we've reached our spot here. But let's wait one more turn until we get feudalism. And then we can settle that. Uh-oh. Barbarian Swordsman. Oh, man. Uh, okay, we get, we'll have to get a classical unit for that. Right when we're ready to start building our campus. Ah, uh, he's he could just step onto it. I better just build an archer, I guess. I don't know. Okay, there's Circumnavigate. There's our Golden Age. Maybe we'll just build a horse. There we go. Two turns for horse. That's fine. Okay, feudalism next turn. So we're gonna buy a bunch of builders. Plus three campus. Oh, we, the scripture card. We should have been playing that. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I guess it, this helped us build the holy sites quicker. Um, all right, let's take the let's take out literary tradition. Let's put in the builder card. Um, do we want more? I think we do want more settlers really soon. That looks good there. Okay. All right. So let's settle here. Beautiful. We got a builder. Five charges. And then let's do the holy site. Let's see. Let's just do the holy site here. Plus four. We can approve this, I guess, for a little faith. Okay. The bar backed off. I'm going to put down a commercial hub. We could also do harbor, but I think commercial makes sense. Yeah. Finish that horse. Okay, let's go settle over here. Now we need to buy builders in every city. Oh, pyramids is available too. We need to think about that. But let's buy a builder here. Definitely buy one here. There's a lot to chop in this city. More settlers in the capital. Do our library here. Oh my goodness, five scientific city-states. <laughs> when we don't even ask for them. That's crazy. Whoa. All right, let's... Can we convert this? Let's see. Yeah, let's give this a convert. Maybe we can do crusade or something. We'll see. Oh, no scripture. Yes, we need to get apostles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, scripture. Let's see. Spreading it further? Or is that for like converting, I guess, converting other sieves? Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, let's buy an apostle. Classic, no science city-states in a city state game, no cultural city-states in a cl Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes, huh? Except there is one, there is one cultural, but no faith city-states. Okay, let's go ahead and evangelize. So scripture, uh, religious spread from adjacent city pressure is 25% stronger, boosted to 50% after printing. We'll take that. That's good. Let's see. So wait, what is that? Is that, can we take that and we can still take crusade, I think as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's take scripture. All right. We got a new luxury going here with the honey. That's nice. I don't really want to chop the jungle because that's giving me some food. We do need to get housing though. We're actually out of housing in this city. 
Um, trying to just to think of how we can do that. We could maybe do a farm up here. Maybe buy that tile. Yeah. Okay, we can't convert this yet. Let's see. Well, we'll 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 do a char charge in there. It'll it'll convert. Uh, it looks like her cities. His cities are converting to um to whose religion? Whose religion is that? Indonesia's religion. Oh, two swords out there. Wow. Let's do another commercial hub here. Want to get more trade routes going? Let's buy that wheat, improve it, and then we can work it in this city. And with this, it should give us yeah. Now we're now we have housing again. Okay. Capital needs a granary. Let's build that. Chop this holy site here. That gets like almost half the production. That's good. Let's chop this holy site and then work on the shrine. He convert he um he settled pretty close, so now this city's converting. That's good. You know what? Let's get another horse out. Just to deal with these barbs, pretty much. We're basically just out of gold. We need gold to buy tiles, but we we just don't have it. I could start buying settlers out of this city. Maybe I should do that. Literally no gold, yep. Yep, this is what happens when, like, when you focus on, like, non-trade districts, like, non-commercial hubs and non-harbor districts. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get another writer. That's great. Very good. So, two early writers. That's, that's pretty lucky. We're not doing any settlers at this moment, so maybe we'll put in this card. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's, we gotta get granaries, because we're not really, we don't really have that much housing until then. Oh my goodness, a crossbow. Why are the barbs so brutal in this game? Alright, we're gonna chop the temple here. And then let's do the commercial hub. Okay, we got second writer. Uh, I love the gold you get. Yeah, ex I, I do too, Bruno. Yep, yep. Yeah, faith sieves aren't really my favorite to play. They can be fun sometimes, but they're not like my, my favorite thing. Okay, settling city number eight. Maybe I should unlock harbors. Yeah, one turn to get a harbor unlocked. That's good. Yeah, let's do commercial hub here now. Saladin likes us. Let's get the friendship while we can. But yeah, here, okay, in this city, no, we can, we can still do a holy site. Yeah, let's do holy site first right there. Because we get housing from that. Okay, let's buy let's buy some settlers out of here. Okay, so this will be ten cities once we settle these. That's great. Okay, he took some damage. He'll just try to hold there. And we get the other horse coming. Divine right. Let's grab that. Let's grab monarchy. Tier two government. And then I think we need a Republican Legacy to be happy, so we'll put that in. We still want Scripture. We, we're about to settle a city, so we want Serfdom. And now we can put in Discipline. We definitely need that. And then now we can also work toward Castles. Let's see. I should get a Water Mill. Let's settle right here. I kind of want to get Grandmaster's Chapel, and then we don't really have to worry about the barbs when we get our unit. Let's let's chop that, I think. Yeah, chop Grandmaster's Chapel. Oh, I thought this was going to be four faith. Oh, well. Ooh, we also need to get another amphitheater, actually, to house our, our great work there. Okay, we'll start with another holy site. Okay, here we can do industrial zone and aqueduct, I think. Yeah, and we have a discounted industrial, so let's put it right here. All right, we want an aqueduct here. We just unlocked them. Let's chop into that. I mean, it takes away from our adjacency here on the holy site, but we really need the aqueduct. And let's build that because we want that city to keep growing. And let's go ahead and settle this city. And I think that's 10. Do we have 10 cities already? 
Yeah, we have 10 cities. Pretty nice. And we'll put another holy site down here. Ooh. Crossbow there. Okay. Man, the barbs are pretty pretty rough. They're like tucked away. They're kind of kind of hard to reach. And they they're getting advanced units quickly. Uh upload the seed. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Let me do that right now. It's a pretty awesome save, huh? So yeah, if anybody wants to play this, uh, go to my Discord. There should be a link in the description if you're watching the edited version of this. And um, there's a save file channel, and you can play along. Okay, I put the save, turn one save there. Nice continent split with natural wonder really close. Doesn't get much better than that. Alright, let's buy yet another settler here. Oh my goodness, there's another sword down here. Wow. And we got pillaged. Okay, we can kill that guy. That's good. Okay, we finally finished our second amphitheater, so we can put that in. And we'll just start settling in that direction. Uh, I think we want another monumentality here. And then this should be a really nice industrial zone. Plus four, yeah gonna be five if we get another mine Colosseum it's still available so maybe we need to think about doing that like maybe maybe here yeah Colosseum right here looks pretty good we can chop this do an entertainment complex this city let's see no oh, it's not on a river though yeah we can't actually boost construction we don't really have a river except here I guess we do Maybe we can do the water mill. Let's see. Yeah. Let's go for Pingala's promotion. Science. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, our culture is not bad for being monumentality. This is looking good. And we could buy another settler. Let's see. All right. Well, we just entered a new era. So I think this is probably a good place to stop. But yeah, this game looks really good. This looks really promising. How are we doing? Some there's some other civs with good science, so we'll see. We're only one tech behind though. Wow. Yeah, this looks like a good game. Okay. All right, so we'll pick this up. Uh, Platypus, do you think you get the religious victory before or after the AI gets science victory? <laughs> uh, <laughs> after, I guess. I don't know. Well, the question is, can I get the science victory before they get the science victory? I think we might be able to. We'll see. All right. Anyway, we'll pick this up probably tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching.